Hi, welcome to YOH Crochet. My name is Anita. Thank you so much for stopping on in today and spending a few minutes of your day with me. So, um, uh, as always, thanks to um, the new people, thanks to the OGs, and thanks to everybody for your comments and all that stuff. I greatly do appreciate it. So today I am coming on here to show you my Lion Brand Santa Sacks. Um, they were on sale for $19.99. I'm not sure if they're still available. I meant to look before I started recording, but I spaced out and I forgot. So feel free to go ahead and look. I believe it would be under the clearance section. So I ordered two Santa sacks. It says on the website limited to one, but then it also says if you do purchase more than one, you might possibly, probably more than likely get the same yarn in your second sack. So I did break down and Crystal had posted a video. She had received hers, I don't know, several days ago. And I did break down and I watched hers. I've never had a Lion Brand Santa sack before. And I, some of the ones and I've seen people unba unbox in the past looked pretty decent. So I decided to take a chance and go ahead and order some. Um, courtesy of Joe from Joe's Web because she is the one that brought it to my attention that they were on sale for $19.99. So thank you, Joe, for being an enabler. Although you really didn't have to twist my arm much. So, like I said, I did watch Crystal's video, and so I kind of think I know. She had gotten three, three bags. Two were the same, and one was different. And the one that was different is the one that I preferred. The one where she only got one of. Um, she had some yarn in every single bag that um she wasn't a huge fan of um i am not familiar with that uh kind of yarn i've never used it but she said it was pretty close to super saver um possibly a step below super saver so that will probably be in my bags and two of her her, her bags had two packs of that same yarn in so that's kind of a bummer that they have two packs of the same. Yeah. So we'll see what we got. I also did purchase some Summer Nights. I think six skeins because that was also on clearance. I believe it was $3.99. And I've never used it. And so we'll see. I'm going to grab the box. So here we go. It is on the floor, and this is my box from Lion Brand. And I don't know if Mika was going to come up and investigate. He very well might, or maybe not. Doesn't look like it. That would be easier if I just put it on the floor by my feet. I think that's what I'm going to do. Up and over. Okay, so what I am hoping for is comfy cotton and ice cream that's what i'm hoping for we'll see Miko has his nose in my box in the box let me rephrase that sounded kind of inappropriate let's not go there okay i'm trying to get this tape off the side there we go and there's more tape on the other side okay so does it smell good? Does it smell like yarn, Miko? He is sniff, sniff, sniffing. Okay, so I will go ahead and get the summer nights out first. Yes, I did get six. Six. And like I said, I believe it was $3.99. I might be wrong. Oh, I made the neck on this top far too wide. It keeps sliding off the shoulder. So we have Summer Nights. So if you are not familiar, it's got some sparkle to it. And it is in these pretty blues. So I'm thinking a shawl. 
a shawl might be pretty with this. Um, even though I don't wear shawls, I like to use the fine weight. It's a number one. So it's really fine. And it is... Miko is now trying to go in my box. Here. Don't mind my mess. Oh, I can't show you. He moved. I tried. Sorry if I made you dizzy. Um, so this is 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 437 yards, or 400 meters. It is 82% acrylic and 18% polyester. A super fine one. Um, 3.25. Yes. Sorry, that print is small. 3.25 needle, nitty needle. Blah, 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 blah. Or a... 3.5 crochet hook and it is in the color castaway so yes I think that is very pretty love the blues and yeah six of them so that is that all right so let's get into the Santa sacks all right it's a very big sack it's, they're bigger bags than I expected. It's kind of the, the material that I did expect. It's kind of like a canvasy, but not like a cloth canvas, more like a plasticky canvas. Um, I'm sure most of you have had these before, but I have not. So let's open it up. So can you see? Did I get my comfy cotton? Did I get my ice cream? Can you see in there? Can you see what's in there? I have no idea. All right, let's see. Hmm. So yeah, it was the limited edition yarn that she was not a fan of, and this is it right here. But I'm gonna open it up and feel it for myself. It feels, hmm. It feels, it doesn't feel like No, I think I prefer Super Saver myself. I don't know. But anyway, it's fine. It's... it's I can't explain it. It's got... It feels maybe kind of stiff. I don't know. But I'll use it for Amigurumis. It is a very nice gray for animals. So this is Line Brand Limited Edition... 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 186 yards, or 170 meters, machine washable and dry, dryable, 100% acrylic, uh, I'll hold it up so you can see, a medium 4, 5.5 millimeter, millimeter knitting needles, 6.5 crochet hook, but I will be using a 4.0 because I will be making Amis with it, and it is in the color grays, it just says grays. It's weird that it's plural because there's only one shade of gray. So I don't know why it's plural, but it is. So there is that. There was three skeins of that. So I have some Amigurumi yarn for animals. And I peeked inside and I saw this is probably going to be like Crystal's egg that she did not particularly care for a whole lot. So... This is another pretty gray, and I can make some some Amis out of this too. I've never, I don't typically use um, a velvet or plushy or blanket yarn a whole lot for Amis, but I made one, and I'm gonna show that to you in a finished object video, which I'm hoping to film today. So this is a velvet yarn, the Velux by Lion Brand, 5.35. 5.3 ounces, 150 grams, 246 yards, or 225 meters. It is a medium four, but I would say with all of that fiber on the, the, the velvety, I would say it's a little bit thicker than a four. I would say probably a bulky. And it is in the color silver, 100% polyester. So three of those. I gotta speed it up. I don't have much record time left. And then, yes, another pack of 
Z. Oh, it's actually a different color, though. I think Crystal got the same color. Another pack of the limited edition. And it is the same specs, obviously. And it's the color neutrals. So we have the neutrals. And the gray. So it's nice they put colors in that go together. And you know what? I'm going to pause and delete a few things off my phone. And then I am going to come back and show you the rest. Okay. Now, that's much better. Now I have 38 minutes of record time. There's no way I was going to get that done. I was down to like two minutes. There was no way it was going to happen. Okay. And then next is, yes, this is exactly like... It was the same types of yarn that Crystal got in the two of her bags that were the same. Because then we also have the Oh Baby Organic. I don't know if hers was Oh Baby Organic or if it was just Oh Baby. I've never had this before and it doesn't really feel like anything very special. So it is in the color red. It is 1.75 ounce, 50 grams. So it's pretty small 180 yards 165 meters and it is 100% organic cotton I mean it's softer than kitchen cotton I don't know I probably would not purchase this but I will find a use for it um, whether it's bags or something um did I tell you I didn't tell you the weight it's a two weight so, it was a two weight. That's what the ball band says anyway. Why are you not focusing? Oh, whatever. It doesn't want to focus. So, that was the first bag. Let's throw everything back in. What? You want to climb in the bag? Do you want to be in a Santa sack? Anybody would be happy to get you in a Santa sack. Yes. But uh, that's not happening. You're my puppy. My puppy. Nobody else's. All mine. Okay. So I'm almost positive the second bag is going to be the same. It'd be nice if there was different colors. But colors that went with what I already have. But we shall see. Okay, so, do you guys want to look? Yell at me. Tell me. Is it the same? Is it different? What do we got? Can you see? Oh, I saw. It's the same because I can see that velvet yarn. No comfy cotton. No ice cream. Well, it's a different color velvet yarn. So that's cool. I can put it together. So now I've got six cakes. And the colors will go well together. Um, this is the color Dusty Pink. So, the pink. And where did you go? Where are you? The pink and the gray. They look very nice together. I'm not, like, horribly upset with this. Like... I can venture out of the box, out of my box, and make some Amis maybe with this. They would be, they turn out to be super soft and squishy. And I wouldn't have to worry about washing them. And then we have in another neutral color, but it's not the color neutral. This looks more like a white or maybe a cream. I do, do not believe it is the same color. No, it is. It's neutrals. So this is the same color. It looks lighter than the other one. The, even like the twist on this is, is odd. Can you see that? Like, I don't know. So there's three of those. And I'm... Wait. Oh, yeah, this is the same. And, again, in grays. So, we have another three-pack of grays. 
So the colors on the limited edition yarn are the same in both bags. And then the O oh Baby is also the same in both bags. You can't go in my bag. Here. What? You want to look inside? Come up. No? Okay. So that is my Lion Brand Santa Sacks Mystery Yarn. And I think what I like the best is probably the velvet. Um, and then, you know, I have some nice neutral colors for animals for Amigurumis. Why does this one feel softer? This one feels, this feels way softer than this. This, this gray is so weird way softer yeah this does not feel very nice um odd and the velvets so yes um these santa sacks in my honest opinion are not as nice as ones that i have seen in the past i have seen people unbox in the past so, but, you know, that's just the way it goes, right? It's a mystery. It just happens to be whatever they are trying to get rid of at the time, and I'm not privy to that information, so I took a gamble. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's all I've got for you today. I am going to try to, I, I'm going to have to let my phone charge up for a bit. I want to try to get two more videos in today. I still need to get Ami Wars points up from June. I am very, very sorry. That's not up yet. But this box here wanted me to open it. And I wanted to open it with you. So, yes. Um, so, yeah, that's all I've got for now. Um, stay tuned. I have a finished objects video coming your way and a and then the Ami Wars points video coming your way. And then hopefully I can get the spotlight designer pattern done. Um, so Miko picked the um, creepy bunny and kitty and I went ahead and just bought the two pack for the patterns. So I'm gonna do the bunny and the kitty. And then after that, he picked a punk bear. I don't know if I'm going to have time to get to the punk, punk bear. I'll be lucky if I can get the kitty done. I am working on the bunny. I am almost done. Hopefully, I will finish that today. Oh, and speaking of Miko, I sent his floof off to get spun into yarn. And the lady sent me an email yesterday saying that the package arrived safe and sound. And that his fur is beautiful and she can't wait to work with it and she will get in contact with me when her next slot in October opens up um, she said I had 3.75 ounces I thought I had closer to five ounces so I don't know that I'm gonna get up get enough yardage for a beanie so I might have to I'm gonna start saving his fur again and uh, collect some more and send it off um, we'll wait and see how it turns out from her I may go back to her I may not I, I might just go back to her just so uh, for consistency purposes you know what I mean I don't know if other spinners might spin a little bit looser or tighter I just would rather, if I'm going to combine the two skeins and do one project, I'd just rather it come comes from the same spinner um, for con the consistency uh, reasons. I want the yarn to be consistent. So that is all I have for you today. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you next time. Love you. Bye.